welcome everyone. I'm Marco, Industrial Sales Manager in Europe for Race3D. Here to talk a little bit about our revamped RMF 500. So some of you know that we launched RMF 500 for around two years ago, uh, but we decided to give it not just a, a, a facelift, but a little upgrade from everything that we learned from the market so far. And we came up with this model with a lot of upgrades. So this is our brand new and biggest industrial printer. So it does 500 by 500 by 500 millimeters build uh, volume. We kept the IDEX, so independently extrusion for production. You can see it printing here. Right now we are printing uh, PET with carbon fiber and it's designated support material, but we can also, of course, print material material for uninterrupted productivity. And uninterrupted productivity is one of the major key points of this printer. Besides b having the dual head, we also decided to have a large material station that can hold up to four 2.5 kilogram spools that in theory, it should give you an uninterrupted five days of printing. So you can just put your material, put your file, go somewhere else and the printer for five days will work for you. What did we change as well? So basically we now have a very nice magnetic printing platform that makes it really easy for you to take out your files. Well, not your files, your parts, sorry. Besides that, for productivity, you need normally speed, right? You know that we launched last year Hyper FFF. We launched it on our Pro 3 printers. Here, we take it a level further. We call it Hyper FFF level two. So we are printing at max speeds of around 500 millimeters per second. Of course, always dependent on the material that we're printing because it is a very material dependent process. So right here with PETCF, we are printing at around 300 millimeters per second, which is quite a fair speed for a carbon reinforced filament. And since I mentioned carbon reinforced filaments, this is what, it's what mostly the printer was developed for. So when we launched it two years ago, it was locked and was only specific for carbon or uh, glass fiber reinforced polymers, so composite materials. But right now, since we did all these upgrades, we also took the decision to open up the printer. So besides the reinforced filaments, now you can print with a wide range of uh, Race 3D filaments. So, uh, race 3D PLA, Race 3D uh, ABS, but also we developed hyperspeed material specific for here. For example, hyperspeed ABS that we call hyperspeed ABS V2, that it can really take advantage of the 500 millimeters per second of the printer. And again, this speed is, is possible because of all the features that it has. So besides what I've already said about the dual print heads, it also has dual linear rails that can go up to 1000 millimeters per, uh, per second. But of course, we still don't have a material that can print a thousand millimeters per second. Maybe one day we will get there. And of course, high speeds require high stability of the printer. So the printer has a quite heavy structure, uh, still all, all, all metal structure of around 800 kilograms. So very sturdy, very durable printer. So you can spray, uh, print at these high speeds. Uh, and these are pretty much the, the, the big changes that we did in terms of hardware. Like I said, we also open up for other materials and we also opening up for our open filament program like we have on our other printers that we can expect materials from other manufacturers to be certified into the system and that you can print them here with the same quality that you do with our own filaments. And as all our other printers, we also often offer open parameters on this printer. It also has a lot of safety features. So it's a certified machine to use in your workshop. You have emergency stops. We have pretty much electronic locks everywhere. If there's an issue, it will tell you. One of the things I didn't mention, I forgot about the productivity and having the, the, four, the four spools of 2.5 kilograms, is if one runs out, the other one starts to print automatically. So you don't need to come here, manually swap. There is a device in the back of the printer that does it for you. Um, and yeah, with this, we open up endless possibilities, endless application. With the composite filaments, of course, our main application and main usage of the machine is jigs and fixtures. We have some parts uh, in the back. Maybe we, we go in and, and check them. So I was talking about applications. So as I said before, be, because of the carbon reinforced filaments, jigs and fixtures is always a very, very big application of this, of this printer. But we also 
uh, expand to others. So for example, prototyping, small batch production. So in terms of prototyping, for example, here with the carbon field PTCF, we have a prototype of a wheel rim, but because you do it on a composite material, very sturdy material, this can be used, even if it's just for uh, a hand use, pro hand use prototype. Besides that, we have other materials. So, like I said before, we have the hyperspeed materials, but on the composite materials, we also developed what we call the hypercore materials, which is the family of hyperspeed for composite filaments. And that gives us even more, uh, even more possibilities. It gives us the possibility of printing high speed carbon or glass fiber reinforced filaments. So here, for example, we have our hypercore ABS-CF, which is ABS with 15% carbon fibers. Uh, as you can see, it has a very smooth finish. This is not how it comes from the printer. The part was sanded and primed, but it's also to show how easy you can post-process these parts, even with uh, a carbon-reinforced uh, filament, because the way we develop the hypercore filaments, it, it really gives you a nice outer shell so it's very smooth and it's very easy to sand and to apply any finishing that you want. So again, prototyping, but also customization of products. So here we have a pipe duct that it, it really needed to have this shape for the machine that the customer was using. And of course, it's not an easy shape to, to get from the market. So here we have production of specific products, of customization of, of a specific product. But then again, jigs and fixtures, uh, prototyping, again, prototyping for automotive, and here as well, again, prototyping. I was talking about jigs and fixtures and we really have some applications here to show. Uh, this one specifically weren't printed on the RMF, but this one is, so this is a very big table fixture. So the customer used to do this in metal. It, it really required a uh, very high stiffness and very high strength of the part. So he couldn't find really a printer that could do it that big or with the material that he wanted. So in the end, we tested multiple things and we figured out that with a uh, carbon fiber filled PET printed on our RMF, the customer could replace the metal part that he had and do the fixture in, 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 um, in a 3D printed way and really cut costs with that and really increase the, the go-to-market and the, and, and the speed that you could get the feature. And th this, is, this is just one of the examples of multiples that this customer has and many other customers that mainly use this for jigs and fixtures. So yeah, that's basically our new solution, RMF revamp from the old uh, version that we had before. We listen to the market, we launch the upgrades, we launch the new materials. And yeah, thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you, you enjoyed it and you can always contact us if you have any questions, any inquiries about this printer or any of our other products. Thank you very much.